Hey everyone, welcome to On the Rocks. I'm your trail guide, Claudia Faust. Every week I'll take you on a new adventure as I check hikes, waterfalls, and other outdoor activities off of my Arizona bucket list. Today we're hiking Boulder Canyon to Viewpoint. This hike is exactly five miles long with a 1,092 foot elevation gain deep in the desert, but still only an hour away from Phoenix. Well, if you're not feeling hiking, you could honestly just drive out here and just drive around and enjoy the views. Uh, to do this hike, I thought you needed to buy a Tonto Pass, which I did at the marina nearby. You don't need to do that. There's 10 parking spots in the back of the lot that are designated for this trailhead, so skip the 12 bucks and just park. This trail is in the Tonto National Forest between the Four Peaks Wilderness and Superstition Wilderness. And the hike begins right at Canyon Lake. There you can catch the Dolly Steamboat, which is also on my AZ bucket list. Next time we come out here, I have a new route. Sure. This hike is gorgeous because the view of Canyon Lake and the rivers continues to improve and become more grand as you hike. But the main reason I chose this trail is because I'm totally in awe of Weaver's Needle. It's that pointy rock way back there. Because it's almost summer, I haven't been able to commit to the 12 and a half mile hike that would bring me as close to Weaver's Needle as possible, but this five mile hike should get me the fix I need to get through to the fall. Truthfully, I was pleasantly surprised by this hike from the get-go. I didn't expect to feel so deep in the forest considering it was just a five mile hike. There's such a variety of rock formations and the trail is easy enough that you could do it early in the morning, even in the summer, but you have to remember lots of water. I shouldn't have been so surprised that I love this hike as much as I did. The Tonto National Forest never fails me. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I think it's the most diverse and beautiful place in Arizona which is why I had to bring my friend from high school to check out my favorite forest in the state. And I think I delivered, we were blown away. The trail to the viewpoint pulls you away from Four Peaks Wilderness and straight into the Superstition Wilderness. The Superstition Wilderness covers over 160,000 acres and is definitely known for its beautiful scenery. You see what I mean. We basically had this trail all to ourselves. There's not a lot of shade though, so it's nice to come in the morning. It was very cool for us, or just come on a cooler day. But it was so awesome just getting closer and closer to Weaver's Needle, and this canyon is unbelievable, but you'll have to come out to see for yourself. Fortunately, we had a cool breeze most of the hike, but a late start and a trip to Dunkin' Donuts before hitting the trail meant it got a little hotter as the hike went on. There isn't any shade on this hike, but as I mentioned before, if you get an early start, it's a can't miss trail. And the best part is Acacia Recreation Area is right down the road and it's the perfect place for a post hike swim. Altogether, this hike took about two and a half hours. I would allot three hours in your day to come out and enjoy it. I think it's funny that it's called Two Viewpoint because there were so many viewpoints. I thought we had actually gotten to the end of the trail so many times, but it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna make use of my Tonto Pass and go enjoy the water. Time to take my pup for a dip in the lake. I'll see you next time on the rocks.